We're live. We are live, we are live. We're going to some food tonight, tonight. We're going to eat some food in Omaha, because we got Omaha food to eat on Instagram, on Instagram. Everybody getting together on Instagram. We're going to eat some food in Omaha. <laughs> That's right, we're in Omaha, backstage before our second to last show on this leg of the tour. And we've got two items. We're back down to just the original concept, which is to pit... The two most popular items against each other. We've got voted on by you. Beer, cheese, spaghetti. What? From Spaghetti Works. <laughs> it's spaghetti with a cheese. big thing of cheese melted on it that smells like. And it also has garlic bread, and I guess that can count towards the like final tally. It smells like noodles and cheese. Uh, it's kind of weird, I gotta say. But you know what? It's cheese on spaghetti. I'm not gonna complain about it. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got. Cheese and meat sandwiches from Runza. Wow. Runza. Cheese and meat. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, oh. This is like so. This is almost like a kalache situation. Kalache. Kalache. I say kalache. Kalache. I'm trying to be fancy. <laughs> now, so there's no rhyme or reason. There is no sauce. This is the sauce. That's yeah, the it's, sauce. This sauce is mm -hmm. cheese. All right, let's do it. Let's. Britain. You are, once again, our designated tiebreaker. Uh, the tasting has been so intense that Brent hurt himself. Uh, Trying to get to the food. This is, this is odd. It's, it's... What if this is a prank? It's not working out. Well, you've actually got a good fork. Now, I like beer cheese. It's really strong. Mm. Oh, look at that. My fork is... Too, it's too weak for the job. Um, mm -mm. Is beer cheese always runny? I don't think that's my problem with it. <laughs> I, I just did all that work and got nothing. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, the, um, it's interesting. It's sweet. You think it's sweet? In a weird way. Not it's, in the traditional way that you use the word sweet. Um, which way are you using the word sweet? The, it's the only word I can think of at this point to describe it. It's but it's not the right no, word. No, it has a... Uh, it, oh, 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 I'm going to tell you what it is, guys. Yeah, but is I'm it, a guys? I, I know a lot about cheese. It has the same taste that a fondue cheese has. Yes. Because fondue has wine in it. And this Consist has beer in it. Consistency. It has the consistency well, of a fondue the, cheese. The consistency, yeah, because it's been, it's been thinned out because it's cooked with beer, but it's also that... Case that you're calling sweet, which is, you know, beer is kind of sweet. Hmm. That's exactly what's happening. That's why I like it. It's like you spilled your fondue into noodles, and you're like, "Whoa, I can't throw it out." It's like an <laughs> well, it's like an <laughs> alternate version of mac and cheese. It's like stringy mac and cheese. <laughs> Lily, I'm actually very curious to see if you would like this because you love mac and cheese so much. It has to be. Good. You don't, you don't, but you don't like really strong cheeses. This this is getting, it depends. This is getting into. This tastes like bananas to me. Mm hmm. I don't like bananas. No, it has a banana quality to it. He's, right. you, you're not wrong. I definitely don't want to try it. Then. Exactly. They didn't give us enough forks anyway. That's I don't, what, I don't <laughs> like bananas. That's what I meant by sweet. Here, come taste that. I don't want to. We have to. This is the internet. <laughs> you got your son over there asking to try. <laughs> Can I try? Yes, Lincoln, you can try it. Here, come here. What about putting it on the garlic bread? Doesn't it taste like bananas? Just bite that. <laughs> That's the ticket right there. Doesn't it taste like bananas? It kind of does taste like bananas. Show the, show the people. Right. Show the people what you've done. <laughs> don't, don't look away. Look at the people. How did I? Oh, oh. Y'all <laughs> making a mess. Oh, I don't need to do that. That's yours now. That's yours. There's your dinner. My kids don't know how to eat spaghetti. Okay, and neither that's do I. Not spaghetti. You don't like it? Mine is better. Did you like it? I, I warmed up to it. Yeah. I mean, the more you eat, the better it gets. Right. I, I get it. I get it. Now this right here. I have a difficult time thinking it's going to be better than the sandwich, but I get it. I understand it. This is, um, I, I can't even tell where, how they got it in there. It's right in that little hole right there. It's, they pumped it in a hole? No, I'm going to cut it in half. So oh, I no, can... no, it's open. 
Ooh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Look, you don't have to cut it, it just rips. It's so soft. Oh my goodness. So we've got meat, onions, cheese, bread. <laughs> mm, Betty, Betty likes. <laughs> oh wow. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's like the best hot pocket I've ever had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Linky likes. likes. This is what hot pockets are based on. Here. A peppery steak. I don't want all of it. With like a. I really like onions too. You like onions? I do. You like bananas? Not really. You like tomatoes? No. Haha, <laughs> rather in the family. Smarts! You, do you like um, olives? I do. I like oh. olives. Yeah. What about like I don't know aggressive aerobic workouts? <laughs> uh, I'll let you know when I reach. There's an optimal age to reach for things like golf and aggressive aerobic workouts, and I haven't quite hit it yet. So I'll let you know when I hit. It. <laughs> but golf is not an aggressive aerobic workout. Right, but there is a age requirement for enjoyment. Okay. Britain's saying you have to be old before you can do aerobics. You can do aerobic workouts. At his age, you don't That's how I thought about it. Well, because when you're young, you just do things that are aerobic, but you don't do things that are just aerobics. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you go home, you're like, I'm doing this just because it's aerobic. My mom used to go to an aerobics class, and I would have to go with her and watch. Well, I didn't have to watch. That was my choice. <laughs> I watched yeah, all my mom's you, friends in like leotards. They would get dressed up in these yeah, like it's like jazzercise. Like, 80s leotards with like a purple swimsuit, like a one-piece swimsuit with like leggings and then ankle warmers and like tennis shoes. Tell me more. <laughs> and then like styled hair and makeup. Like they would go all out. And I'd just be sitting in the corner. Watch. They wore makeup to work out. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, you wouldn't? No, of course I do. But I mean, in, in, the, in, in the 80s. <laughs> no, you, sweat your, you sweat it out, man. You sweat it off. Mm. I've already eaten at the whole hot pot. Let's vote. We've got noodles with beer cheese on them. And we've got the most amazing hot pocket to ever grace my lips. So let's vote. It's anyone's game at this point. Three. Is this is this is this sandwich and this is spaghetti? No, let's put our hand over the spaghetti in order to vote for the sandwich. I just want to make sure the sandwich wasn't over here because there's two sandwich wrappers. I want to, I, want, I want everybody to be clear of what's happening here. Let let's put our hand over the spaghetti to vote for the sandwich and vice versa. No, take it back. This is spaghetti. This is a sandwich. Three. Two, one. I was already going to come back to Omaha because of how well my appearance on the local news went, but now I'm adding to that um, these elongated kolaches, uh, which they call what? Sandwiches. Sandwiches. They yeah. Call these sandwiches. Yeah. Meat and they, cheese they sandwich. They need to come up with a name for it that reflects how unique and amazing it is. And I wasn't going to come back to Omaha because how I was edited out of the uh, local news piece, but. Uh, now that I've enjoyed these amazing hot pockets, I think I will come back. <laughs> well, but we need to give it a name because they need some branding help. Um, Runza? Runza? Runza. We'll call it a Runza pocket. I like they Runza. probably do have a name. It's peppery. Right. It is, first of all, it is basically a kolache. A long kolache. But they just slice open the side to put stuff in there versus pumping it in there with some sort of contraption. So let's call it... I swore I was made of Runs a stuffed let's call, pocket. Let's call it a, a greasy Omaha bar. Ooh. Meat bar. Omaha meat bar. Bars. Omaha meat bar. <laughs> right, guys, bars. <laughs> That's a good one. No, but, no it's not, because bars are not appetizing. It, yeah. I just had one of those burgers from the address. Omaha surprise pocket. <laughs> I like po have to do it in a pocket. Omaha surprise pocket. People don't like surprises. Omaha meat pocket. Predictably awesome pocket. That's a little wordy. Omaha reliable pocket. I think Omaha pocket. How about Omaha pocket? <laughs> you want it to be short. I don't think places like when they, their names are taken out. 
I think it's um, it's, it's, the, it's the Omaha Long Pockets. I like that. <laughs> Omaha Long Pockets. There it is. Omaha Long Pockets. Get you one. Sounds like a sports team, thing. right? <laughs> Oh, oh, that is the local, that is the local baseball. That's, that's the mascot. <laughs> long pocket. Real deep pocket. And long. The mascot is just a pocket. He's one of these. You squeeze him and cheese comes out one side and meat comes out the other side. How many oh, of these? No. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow night we'll be in Minneapolis. We'll be doing this again around the same time. So uh, come back for more.